Okay guys, so what I'm going to do in this video is show you how to render something up in uh, SolidWorks. So you see a lot of people, like it's, it's stupidly simple to do this. So what a lot of people are doing is, you know, they take something like a screenshot of this and they'll include that in a presentation or a report. And to be honest, there's no need for that because you can get a lot more detail and a, a lot finer an image from rendering something up. So what you want to do to do this is you want to come over here to SolidWorks add-in. Now I've it already selected and you just click Photo View 360. Um, you can see there, that's pretty annoying that, you can see there this extra option of render tools has popped up for me. So I'll go over to view, I'll also add a camera, so click tick on that, and then I can deselect lock camera and come in here and just get the perfect image for me, maybe, maybe that, and click on lock camera. Okay, so you can see the camera locked there for me. So you come over here then to render tools and you can mess around with the options there. So I have my um, sizing for that. That's super annoying, that check system. Uh, and then just click final render. And you'll see this come together now. So this should only take a second, um, depending on your machine and your graphics card and stuff. So we'll see here what this comes out to be. Give it a second maybe. Um, oh yes, I know what's happening here. So it's nearly there. So it's the stage. This is that. So that seems to have fully rendered up there, and you can see the image that I got out from that. And then I can click uh, save image there, and that'll keep it as a nice JPEG. So look at the detail on that compared to you know the screenshot that we took there earlier. So hopefully you see how easy it is to render in SolidWorks, and hopefully you'll gain a lot from that. Okay, thanks guys.